Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Now, last time we helped Natty uncover some of Hog Hogwarts Hog Hard. I forgot his name already. <laughs> Victims and save and save someone from from being from being uh and save someone from being extorted by him. So anyway, now we're now what do we do now? That is the question. Uh, oh, oh yeah, that's right. I should probably do that. Oh, what's this? Grief and vengeance. I just asked Natty how she's been doing since I helped her and Mr. Rupert escape from Ashwinder's hideout. I'll do that later. Go to Hogsmeade and then bam. Off on another adventure, are we? Yeah, I guess you can see that. Those statues took time and effort. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demiguy statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? I find them intriguing. They're quite clever. Oh, thank you. A lot of craftsmanship and care went into them. Down, I assume. Mm. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. What did he do? You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student, too cowardly to do it himself, <laughs> hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. Damn. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Yeah, Hogwarts caretaker is an important job. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. You're no better than Mr. Moon, then. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. All right. Now to Moon. Hogwarts map. And then... Here? No, 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 that's not there. There we go. Oh, that's actually a nice tone. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demiguy statues. It was from someone you bullied in school. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied. Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers. I don't think he likes that nickname. I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does. Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laugh the artist of all. Clever, clever man. Hmm? I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. I might have caused something worse. Hmm. Well, at least that's out of the picture. Now what do I do? I sh 
I think, yeah, I should go speak to Natty since her mission is very much closer. Man, I love this boat. Whoa, God. In the Great Hall, huh? I hope she doesn't get into much trouble with her mother. Oh, okay. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. Hey. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. Oh, I've been the talk of the school every time. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and right. <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. Damn. Her concern is warranted. I don't blame her for being concerned. We have been involved in some dangerous activities. As the Ashwinders were locking me up and threatening my life, it did occur to me that my mother may have been right. <laughs> Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. <sighs> Hallow is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It yeah, was yeah. a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Oh. Your father was also an Animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe. <laughs> and he would carry me on his back A giraffe, okay, his that's cool. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. Oh. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Oh, exactly. dear. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit as he fell. My father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Are you looking to avenge his death? Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. How's your mother doing? What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer. But I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. Fate is weird. She misses him. As do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. <laughs> What would your father would think we've been doing? Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he of all people would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, I'm Natty. Sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. That's exactly. a good that's a good phrase. That's a good quote. Put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Let's hope so. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Is that it? Oh, God. 
It's a murder scene here. Now what to do? Oh, that's right. Go to the world map and I think I can head over there from here. Oh, there's a Merlin trial over there. What do you have in store for me this time? Good, I have enough. Oh. Okay. Let's see. There was one. Revelio. There's the other. Now, where is the third? Ah. Okay, that looks like to be the. <laughs> there. Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Nice. A nice little gazebo for the forest. Of, well, I'm not sure who's going to use this gazebo in a forbidden forest because this place is too dangerous for anyone to come in. Well, hello. Alright. Alright. Alright, puppy. Can do this. They will want to help. Oh right, the centaurs. the centaurs. Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so yeah. it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. They won't like this. I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being surprised. We don't have a choice if we want to help the Snidgets. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. They are seers. Centaurs are known to, for being wise. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- uh Oh. Centaurs. That's not good. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Oh dear. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Oh, great. Great, there's about to be a tribal uprising or something. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. 
Follow me, big Golden boy. Golden Sigils are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek a moonstone. Moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Didn't that guy, didn't Elk say about us killing, about killing us next time we meet? So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Isn't moonstone common? Isn't moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. Hmm. I trust him. I centaurs know, know things. But I am inclined to believe him. What with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. You got a point. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. That was scary. I'll let you know what I find. Okay, good luck. Is it nighttime? It is. Oh. And... Oh, knowing a meat, he's likely studied here. <laughs> Probably. Oh God, what is this? Oh God. Okay, I think I see the pattern. There we go, Drago. Oh, nice. Oh, Griffin. Oh, Hippogriffs. You can never have too much Moonstones. Rebellion. Okay, so that's all the quests I can do now. So now what? Headmistress speaks. Yeah, I have enough time. To secret rooms in the map chamber. Welcome back. Hello. Hello, name us Fitzgerald. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Ah, oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. Hogwarts? As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. Oh, God. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? Oh, it no. Is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, but... this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while yeah, no kidding. Away. I understand. Uh, okay. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. I have to sneak into the headmaster's office? How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? 
Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Great. Might as well. It's not like there's any main missions left for me to go to. Getting into the friggin' headmaster's office and <laughs> that's more troubling than anything. God, Eddie Cleaver. <laughs> How is it even hum? So far, no owls coming in. So that means there's not. Unless I can find it, the daily keys. Wait, how do. Oh, right. Forgot. <laughs> Why is he afraid of her? He's dead. Revelio. Okay, I have to wait. Uh, thank you for your persistence and cleverness. I confronted Piers about it and he confessed straight away, the old rascal. <laughs> We've agreed to let bygones be bygones. Uh, don't forget to say hello the next time you're in the three broomsticks. Thrilled to be back there again. Okay. All right. That's about I hope I... Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle, and... I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Hmm. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. <laughs> I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Yeah. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. Oh, you'll God. look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? Yeah. It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the ministry on his behalf. Now, ah. time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Drink up? Oh, God. Okay. How do you feel? Incredible. 
I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As if only that would be useful in the movies. <laughs> who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Yeah. Move him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank, Thank you, you Professor. Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you there. Good point. Now to find the headmaster's house elf. Great. And I can't use my magic. That's perfect. I have to go find Kagawa. Professor, a moment of your time, please. Professor, oh, God. I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I, I, I did. It. <clears throat> yes. Oh, God. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I will decide what's I about. assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you want. <laughs> <laughs> you boils? Convenient. <laughs> <clears throat> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> now, to determine which student... When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. God. What could the headmaster want? <laughs> uh, I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Headmaster? Yeah. What could he want? If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason. Of course it happens to Nonsense. be a... Nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Mm, please do. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will. And with pleasure. <laughs> yeah. I spotted Scope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. <laughs> yeah. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? How did he see my ivory handled hand mirror? <laughs> of course you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> oh who did he, how the hell did where how did where where is the I don't know where the Great Hall is. Oh I can't access it. Where's... Uh-oh. I'll probably get lost here. How the hell do I get to the Great Hall? In here? I think so, yeah. Nope. 
Well, I found a treasure chest. Through here? Probably. Quad courtyard. Whew, never been here before. Can't use magic either. Do I go through here? Oh, this is going to be difficult to find without my freaking... Well, I found a Dedalion key. Through here. Here we go. There he is. Uh oh. Scroop's as hard a worker as any house elf. Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scroop swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. You dare question How me? Dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, have to act that. Have to act apart. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh. Master does remember it. Uh. It's got to do with it's the pure. Pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. <laughs> it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, I uh, you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Toujours ah, pur. Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Did I just burp? The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Uh oh. Oh god. Run! Run, 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 run! Ah, <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. <laughs> Does it always do that with the burps? It was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. All right, let's get going. <laughs> yeah. A good payback for Black. Professor Weasley. Ah, oh, that was good. Now where the hell do I go? Oh, okay. I thought I saw something. Access the headmaster's office. It took a while, didn't it? I have to do that. Was that the Dalian key I heard? I wrong button again. No. Levioso. What are they doing? Sticks like this. What? Don't be silly. It'll wear off in a few hours. Oh. I think. Okay. I think. You think? Before, that other boy was like it for a week. A week. <laughs> We'll have you with Nurse Blaney in no time. I've just realized. What? What is it? I have an essay I need to finish for bins. Two inches. Merlins, I haven't done mine either. Uh, uh, what? Uh, Don't leave me here. Did you memorize the dates of magical discoveries and goblin rebellions? Not yet, no. Where are you going? You can't leave me here. You'll be fine. I'll check on you tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> anyway, Sting, you'll be a week like that. <laughs> oh, Slytherins and Ravenclaws. Curiosity can get them, and they can. They're such. Oh, hello. No, oh, come back. I might not remember you. Oh, oh, 
Move, move, move! I'm gonna miss it! Move! Where'd it go? 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 Ah! There you are. Oops. Gotcha! And that's another for me. Alright, now to head to the headmaster's office. These stairs are confusing. Revolving stair. Oh, there's one over here, too. Armor. This unusual suit of armor was crafted for a troll that has survived. That it has survived at all is astonishing, since trolls do not ordinarily wear armor and would be understandably be prone to smashing it in confusion or rage. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I know. What's this? A word for excellence. Why did I grab that? Foresty scarf. This did a headmaster's. Hmm. A long hallway with nothing in it. That's weird. Chinese paper lanterns. Hmm. Actually, it's nice. There we go. There the it gargoyle. is. Gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Whisper the password. Toujours pure. How did Black end up headmaster? I was beyond me. I mean, seriously. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Probably. Oh! Sleeping portraits. Not all headmasters and headmistresses enjoy reliving day-to-day -day challenges of running up a school of witchcraft and wizardry. Some prefer to enjoy a well-earned nap when possible. Oh, that's nice. So this is the headmaster's office. Whee! Yeah, Dumbledore's office looks better. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Where will I find the what book? What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. Very well. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? What's this? <laughs> <clears throat> I'll take your tea. What? Another paper. Receipt hair tonic, mustache wax, vermilion pearl made, comb, pearl handle, back scratcher, dioxide, paid in very small parts, reminder the bill to the ministry. That must be the pedestal. Take that. Let's do this. What? What just happened? Where am I? What the? Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? What I the? I am here, in this place. You may call me Eve. You shall be uh, Mr. Fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. 
Okay. Oh. Use the tools you encounter to find me. Where am I? The first you will need is a cloak. Cloak. Is this the Deadly Hollows? Is this the Deathly Hollows? Oh my god. In this place as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Oh. Okay. Okay, maybe it's not the Deathly Hollows. Move through the town without being seen. Okay. What the hell's going on? They're gone. For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? I need to time this just right. <laughs> just barely an inch. I on? see a staircase straight ahead. Where? Where? I don't see. Oh, I see. What is this place? Oh, God. this place ladder perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there move 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 kid move death's dark mongrel I'd best move while I can Neve must be here somewhere. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be a way to find you. I hope so. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them now. Oh god. Close tight. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Oh, I forgot about the Wigan Wells. I have so little Wigan Well potions. my chance go 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 that's the way forward the 
mysterious cloak. Wait, is that the cloak of invisibility? I think I'm invisible. It is the Deathly Hollows. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. A cloak in which even death can't find you. Holy crap, it's the cloak of invisibility! Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? Hello? Now where am I going? You have had one death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching. Well, this time you will be unable to hide. Uh, Build the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. I know that wand. It's the Elder Wand. Powerful wand. Damn. Uh oh. Can do that one. All right. Hello. Death. Okay. Oh, great, a troll. Defender. 
Is that the end? Okay, that's the end. Whew. I am running out of time.
All right, before I continue, I'm just going to stop the episode right here. Oh, God, that was very cool with the Elder One thing, that Deadly Hollows. Um, thank you all so much for watching. So if you like what I do, like, comment, subscribe. If you like what I do, do all three. Until then, see you in the next video. Be safe, everyone.